Shalom, shalom to all my relatives and friends. Shalom, shalom to anyone who is listening to me. And shalom, shalom to all my brothers and sisters in Messiah. So today, I just want to continue on with my message about Edom. Because um, in doing this part two about Edom, um, I just want to read some scriptures that um, Abba Father has, and for a Kakodesh, has laid on my heart. Um, yeah, in thinking about Edom, if I should in try to interpret um, the Obadiah, um, I figured that I should just let the Bible interpret the Bible. So I'll just be reading some scriptures that Elohim and Ruach HaKodesh has laid on my heart concerning Edom, for the message about Edom. Um, so um, before I start reading the scripture, I'll just take this time to say a prior to Elohim. So I thank you, O Abba Father, in Yahushua's name and authority for your spirit, your great and awesome spirit of wisdom, understanding, um, knowledge, counsel, might, and the fear of your great and glorious and highly esteemed name. So in Yeshua's name, I just come before your throne of grace. I humbly come before your throne of grace and ask you to help me by your rock to speak only emet truth, O Abba Father. I thank you, O mighty and sovereign King of all that is created, for remembering all of your covenant, your Edenic covenant, Abrahamic covenant, the covenant you made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, um, and the covenant with David, and the covenant that you made with Noah, and the renewed covenant in our Redeemer and Gohel Adam, Yahushua HaMashiach. So I just bless you and praise you and thank you, O Habaya, for all that you're doing to help all the children of Israel, all the tribes of Israel all over your earth, O Habba Father. Thank you for your help that you give to all your apostles, your prophets, your teachers, your evangelists, and your apostles all over your earth. Thank you for your help, O Habaya, that you give to your body, the body of Messiah, and to your bride. Thank you for your help for the fatherless, the widow, the orphan, the widow, uh, and the poor. In Yeshua's name and authority, I ask you all these things. Alleluia. So the message about Edom. So I'll just be reading. My first scripture that I'll be reading is, um, I'll put my glasses on so I can read the scriptures. So the first scripture that I'll be reading is Jeremiah. Jeremiah um, 49 from verse 7 to 22. So um, Jeremiah, it's about Edom, Esau, and Teman. This is my the second part of the message of um, the first part, Obadiah. <clears throat> So in Jeremiah 49, it says concerning Edom, thus says Yahuwah Sabahot, is wisdom no more in Teman, is counsel perish from the prudent. Let's turn the script, let's turn the page. Is their wisdom vanish? Flee you, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitant of Dedan. I will bring calamity of Esau upon him the time that I will visit him, says Yahweh. If great gatherers came to you, would they not have leave some gleaming grapes? If thieves by night, they will destroy till they have enough. But I have made Esau bare, says Elohim, I've covered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoil and his brethren and his neighbor, and he is not. Leave your fatherless children, I will preserve them alive, and let your widow trust in me, says Yahuwah, or Yahweh Elohim. 
For thus says Yahweh, Behold, those who judgment was not to drink the cup have assuredly, assuredly drunken. And are you that shall altogether go and punish? But you shall surely drink off the cup. For I have sworn by myself, says the sovereign mastermind creator of heaven and earth, that Basra shall become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. I have heard a rumor from Yahweh, Yahuwah, and an ambassador is sent unto the heathen saying, Gather you together, and come again, sir, and rise up to battle. For, lo, I will make you small amount to heathen, and despise amount humanity, says Elohim. Because the terribleness, the terribleness has, the terribleness has deceived you, and the pride of your heart has deceived you, O oh, you that dwell in the cleft of the rock, you that hold the height of the hill, though you should make your nest as high as the eagle, I will bring you down from there, says Yahweh Elohim. Also, Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that goes by it shall be astonished and shall ease at all the plagues thereof, as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor city thereof, says Yahweh Yahuwah, no person, male or female, shall abide there, neither shall a son of man you man dwell there behold he shall come up like a lion from the swelling of the jordan against the habitation of the strong but i will suddenly make him run away from her and who is the chosen man or person that i may appoint over her for who is like me, asks Yahweh Elohim, and who will appoint me the time? And who is the shepherd that will stand before me? Therefore, hear the counsel of Yahweh, of Yahuwah, that Yahweh Elohim has taken against Edom. And Elohim purposes that he has purposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely Yahweh Elohim shall make their habitation desolate with them. The earth is moved at the noise of Edom, Timan, Didan, uh, Timan fall. At the cry of the noise thereof, the cry of the noise thereof is heard in the Red Sea. Behold, he shall come up and fly has the eagle and spread his wing over Basra, Yahweh Elohim, and at and and. And at that day shall the heart of the mighty man of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pain. So that is um, concerning Edom, Esau, Teman in, in, in Jeremiah 49. And now I will read Isaiah 11. It's also concerning Edom. So this is my second part of the message concerning Edom. Isaiah 11 from verse um, 10 to 16. Uh, and in that day there shall be a root of Jesse which shall stand for an ensign for an ensign of the people to it the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. And it shall come to pass in that day that Yahweh Elohim shall set his hand again a second time to recover the remnant of his people which is left 
from Assyria and from Egypt and from Patros and from Cush, Elam and from Shinar, from Amat and from the islands of the sea. He shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel, Jacob, and gather together the dispersed of the tribe of Judah from the four corners of the earth, the east, the west, the north, and the south. The, the envy of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of the tribe of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex the tribe of Ephraim. But they shall fly upon the shoulder of the Philistines towards the west. They shall spoil them of the east together. They shall lay their hand upon Edom and Moab, and the children of Ammon shall obey them. And Yahweh Elohim shall utterly destroy the tongue of the Egyptian sea and his mighty wings and with his mighty wing Yahweh Elohim will shake his hand over the river and shall smite it in the seven streams and make human being go over dry shod and there shall be an highway for the remnant of his people which are left from Assyria like it was to Israel Jacob in the day that Elohim brought Israel Jacob out of Egypt. So that's my um, Isaiah 11 verse 10 about Edom. And now I will read Amos. So this is my continue wake up, wake up call message to my relatives and friends, to my brothers and sisters in Messiah, to the nations and to anyone who is listening to me. And it's about um, the wake up, wake up call is about Edom, Esau and Teman, called Teman also. So in Amos 9, Amos chapter 3 um, from 1 to 9. This is what it says, Amos 3, from 1 to 9. Hear the word that Yahweh has spoken against you. Oh, um, Amos 3, Amos 3, 1, yes, okay. Hear the word that he was spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the family which I brought out of the land of Egypt, saying, You have I known, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, therefore, Sorry, I think I'm reading the wrong. Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry, I was reading the wrong scripture. So it's Amos 1 from verse 9. Verse 9 until um, Amos, Amos 1 from verse um, 9 until um, chapter 2 to 3. So, yeah, Amos 1 verse 9. Sorry about that. I was reading the wrong scriptures. So Amos um, 1 verse 9, thus says Yahweh, for the tree transgression of Tyrus and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof because they, 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 they deliver up the whole captivity to Edom and remember not brotherly covenant. But I will set, send a fire on the wall of Tyrus which shall devour the palaces thereof, 
Thus says Yahweh Elohim, for three transgression of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because Edom pursue his brother Jacob Israel with the sword, and did cast off all pity, and his anger tore perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever and ever. I will send a fire upon Teman, which shall devour the palaces of Basra. Thus says Yahweh, for three transgression of the children of Haman, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they ripped open the woman in Gilead, that they may enlarge their territory. So Abba says, I will kindle a fire in the wall of Rapa, and it shall devour the policies thereof, with the shout, shouting in the day of battle, with a tempest in the day of the whirlwind. And their king shall go into captivity, and his princes together, says Yahweh, Yahuwah Elohim. The, um, Amos 2, um, thus says Yahweh, Elohim, for three transgression of Moab and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he burned the bone of the king of Edom to lime. But I will send a fire upon Moab, and it shall devour the palaces of Kithroth, and Moab shall die of tumult, with shouting and with the sound of the trumpet. And I will cut off the judges from the midst thereof, and will slay the princes thereof with him, says Yahweh, Yahuwah, Elohim. So that is Amos, Amos 1 from verse 9 to chapter 2 and continue until verse 3. And now I will read... Um, Joel, Joel. So wake up, wake up, call, message, continue um, with warnings um, to my brothers and sisters, relatives and friends, and to Esau, Edom, Timan. And in jo Joel, the book Joel, from verse, um, chapter 3, from verse 19 to 21. So here... <clears throat> Abba says in Johel, um, Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Israel, uh, children of Judah, because they have shed innocent blood in their land. But Judah shall dwell forever, and Jerusalem from generation to generation. For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed, for Yahweh Sobahot dwells in Zion. So that is my message, part two, um, for um, Ed, um, about Edom that uh, the Father has laid on my heart. Um, so uh, I thank you for listening to me about this. And I will try, I will try and ask by the wisdom, understanding, the knowledge and the mighty spirit of Elohim to um, give a third message if, if, if Elohim brings it to my heart. So I thank you, thank you in Yahushua HaMashiach and Shalom, Shalom to you.